Let's keep this video relatively short and simple. I believe Clearfield or ticker symbol CLFD is undervalued by about 35% at the current share price of about $61 per share. Now, I have personally invested in this company both in my model portfolio, which I keep track on here on YouTube, as well as my own private investing portfolio. And this video is basically my reasoning behind those investments. So let's get right into it with first, a company overview. And that overview has to start right here with what Clearfield actually does. And in their words, they are the fiber to anywhere company. They are a company that design, manufacture and distribute fiber optic connectivity all throughout the world. Important to note, Clearfield ain't no internet service provider. Clearfield is the company that provides the tools to an internet service provider. That is a very important distinction to understand. Now, this certainly ain't no sexy business. Fiber optic has slowly become the norm in most people's minds, but that is the entire point. We do not want a sexy company that's bid up heavily on the stock market. We want a boring AF company that is trading for a really attractive price. And I believe Clearfield to be just that. And while fiber optic has become the norm in most people's minds, it certainly isn't the norm in neither the EU or the United States. 43% of the American population has access to fiber optic connectivity. So about 57% does not. And in Europe, for example, in Germany, these numbers can be even lower. So what I'm trying to say is, even though fiber optic has slowly become quite boring and the norm, we can still expect quite a bit of growth in fiber optic connectivity because a lot of people do not have access to this insane technology yet. And that is exactly what Clearfield is projecting for themselves. I quote, fiber deployment is projected to be strong for the next decade. So Clearfield is a boring company in a boring industry, but a boring industry with significant tailwinds in the form of reason below fiber adaptation globally. That is pretty darn Cool. From a financial point of view, the company is also pretty darn solid. For example, they're sitting on about $30 million of cash, while their entire liability side of the balance sheet is just $58 million. Besides, the company has significantly more assets, about $350 million worth, compared to its liabilities, which is still that same $58 million. So balance sheet wise, the company is extremely solid. Nothing jumps out negatively. And growth wise, the company is basically 20x its revenue per share since 2010. And the company has more than 30x its earnings per share over that same time period. These two growth rates are insane. Hence why the company's share price since 2010 has basically 20 axed. And if the company can continue growing at this insane pace, the share price might do something similar again. And that is the gist of what I think you should know about Clearfield. It's one, a company that's growing its earnings at an insane pace. Two, a company that has a tremendously healthy balance sheet. And three, it is a boring company operating in an even more boring industry, but still has significant tailwinds helping itself. Now let's talk about my valuation. And my Clearfield valuation model basically starts with management's guidance, which basically comes in on earnings basis to about 20 to 25% growth in EPS from 2022 to 2023. Clearfield does have a history of beating guidance, but will just take the management numbers to be conservative. And if we take the company's 2022 EPS and then grow it at a pretty fast pace, so 22% over the next five years and then 15% after that, well, then we'll see the company's EPS grow from $3.6 all the way to almost $20 per share. Is this insane growth in earnings per share realistic? Well, of course, that is for you to decide. When I look at the company's track record of growth with more than a 30x in earnings per share during just the last 12 years, well then a 5x in earnings over the next 10 years certainly seems in the realm of possibility. Next up, we are slapping on a market conform price to earnings ratio of 20 which combined with the future earnings per share of about $20 per share results in my future price target of about $400 for Clearfield by 2032. I would argue that this future price to earnings ratio of 20 is conservative compared to the growth that we are forecasting. And especially compared to the history of Clearfield's price to earnings ratios, 20 certainly is possible. Like I said, my price target of $400 per share by 2032, if we discount that at my discount rate of 15%, we get to my intrinsic value of $100 per share for Clearfield. So compared to $100, Clearfield is undervalued by about 35 to 40% 
100% at the time of making this video. Not bad. And that is the value I currently see in Clearfield. It certainly ain't the best value investment I've ever seen, but it is pretty darn solid. Especially since the stock got effed so hard in a put over the last couple of months. All because of a capital raise, which in my opinion was executed perfectly. And from a technical perspective, it seems that a reversal in the share price might follow reasonably soon. So basically, this is my entire thesis in Clearfield summarized. One, we see a phenomenal business. Two, trading at an attractive price compared to its growth. Three, which has basically been on a downtrend for months. The stock is just waiting for a reversal. And that is why I have invested in this company. For me, it will probably be a really quick flip once the company closes in on the intrinsic value that I have calculated. At this moment in time, I do not think I will hold this business for years upon years. But as always, time will tell. But you know, a 20, 30 or even 50% return in just a couple of months is nothing to sneeze at. And that is exactly the kind of opportunity that I currently see in Clearfield. A multi-month quick flip for a very nice return. But of course, there are risks attached to this business. So I believe it's now time for a classic YouTuber disclaimer. While I am a registered financial advisor in the Netherlands, I do not have the legal capacity yet to give anyone investment advice. Therefore, this video and any other video on this YouTube channel can never be taken as financial advice. I cannot be held liable for the losses you make while trading according to my opinions. Please do your own due diligence. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Peace.